Assemblyman Singleton, you've only had access to the governor's budget proposal for a few days, um, but you are a member of the budget committee. Mm -hmm. What's your first impression of the governor's budget? Well, uh, again, I, without having seen the details, um, which is always you know tough when you're you hear the speech and you don't really have the details to, to see what what needs to be done. Um, I'm still concerned that we're, we're still playing a lot of the same old Trenton games with respect to the taxpayers. Um, we're pushing off our property tax credits that uh, folks were supposed to get in February. It was then pushed to May, and now it's being pushed into FY 2014. So we're delaying real property tax relief to, to taxpayers. Um, I'm concerned that, again, an issue that I was very much supportive of, the energy uh, tax receipts, the money that the towns is rightfully theirs that would go to lower property taxes. No real mention of that in the budget. Still, again, not really giving the towns the, the complement of money they deserve for the the money that, that leaves their communities for hosting um, energy facilities. Um, I'm deeply concerned that still New Jersey has almost a 10% uh, unemployment rate, higher than the national average, higher than our neighboring states, and there wasn't a, a lot of dialogue on, on how we can really reduce that. Um, so those things give me pause. I'm, I'm willing to give the governor a benefit of the doubt till I see the details, because I'd really like to really get into it. And I know this is an election year for, for all, but I'm hopeful we'll be able to put aside some of the partisanship and look at those real issues, the property tax relief that really needs to be there for our taxpayers, finding ways to put people back to work and reducing that unemployment insurance. Those are the things that the voters I go out and talk to every day when I go out and walk on these, knock these doors and walk in my communities. That's what they're talking about, and I'm hopeful the governor's budget or the legislature's budget when we get the chance to refine it will address those issues sufficiently. The, the treasurer has so far recently refused to uh, come and, and speak to the budget committee. Uh, I know that, that the committee has voted themselves subpoena power. Do you expect the treasurer to come and explain the budget uh, to the committee? Well, the treasurer, uh, uh, as, as custom, comes before the budget committee at the outset of our uh, committee hearing process, before we do departmental hearings, and sort of walks through the administration's interpretation of the budget. Um, we anticipate that will still be the case. Um, the use of the subpoena power is our frustration from the legislature's perspective, and not for any of us individually, um, but because we all represent a piece of New Jersey, and by the by, the treasurer and this administration not affording us an opportunity to ask real thoughtful questions as we're trying to figure out our fiscal house, they're not doing a disservice or slapping the face to Democrats or or the legislature, but we're really being short-sighted to all New Jerseyans who really deserve answers. When um, almost month after month we've not hit our revenue projections, and we really need to do better with the with the public dime. So I, I know the treasurer is going to come obviously through his normal process. Um, I just would have hoped he'd have came sooner. Okay. Another process question. With the governor having line item veto power, how much can the legislature really influence the, the overall budget? Uh, well, ultimately, obviously, as you correctly point out, at the end of the day, the, it is the governor's budget, um, and the governor will decide sort of what's in and what's out at, at the very end. Um, I think through the art of negotiation and compromise, um, and the governor on times has been able to show that that's something he's willing to do, I think we'll be able to walk through sort of what's important to, to the Democrats and what's important to Governor Christie and, and find some common ground on some issues. There's going to be points where we just vehemently will not agree, and I suspect the legislature will look at it one way, and the governor ultimately, who has the final say before he signs it, may look at it a different way. But I think on as many of the big issues that we can come together on, I think that's really important. So I'm, I'm going to take a hopeful attitude that uh, we'll be able to, to really work through this process together, and then we'll see how it takes us from there. Final question. The, the budget process in these trying times is difficult in and of itself. Now we've got the Hurricane Sandy sure. relief on top of it. How does how do we improve infrastructure and support health initiatives and support education while at the same time reacting to Hurricane Sandy? Well, the budget is all about priorities. It's all about setting priorities of what's important for New Jersey. Um, my personal priorities are, are obviously to um, increase the economic opportunities for the, the men and women of New Jersey, as well as in creating educational opportunities for all our kids, regardless of their zip code, to take full advantage of and to be able to move forward. Um, Sandy does complicate that matters because of some of the uh, constraints on the system. But I think if we really sit down and start looking at what is the more value-added pieces 
to, to the different factors we have to look at with the composition of this budget, I think we could come together around a lot of common purpose. Um, our infrastructure development before Sandy needed real work. Um, so we need to use this opportunity to be a catalyst for change in that regard as well. Um, so I'm really hopeful that we'll be able to do that. Um, as I said, this budget process is going to be trying because it is in an election year. But I think if everyone comes to the table willing to put ego aside and put New Jersey first, then I think we can really get some good things done. Assemblyman Singleton, thank you very much. Thank you.